Say what needs to be said. Time and time again, NFL teams expect to be one of the top teams in the NFL, but fall short because of injury for some teams. Now, quarterbacks are obviously essential to a team's success. So essential a team may trade three first-round picks, trade a coach, or do whatever it takes to acquire a quarterback that the team executives feel will take this team to the Super Bowl or get them to the next level. But in the midst of all these trades to get that one player that the team wants and feels and believes is the determined factor to push this team forward and get that ring, what occurs when that one player has an injury? What do you do next? What do you go from there? Are you prepared or did you put all your eggs in one basket? Deshaun Watson and Aaron Rodgers were both acquired for three first round picks. Derek Carr was believed to be the hope that Drew Brees gave the New Orleans Saints before he left. And then you have Kirk Cousins and Anthony Richardson. None of these quarterbacks are on the active roster as of week 11. And these teams are struggling to win with the exception of a few in, you know, the Minnesota Vikings. And let's not talk championship possibilities because, you know, when you when your star quarterback goes down, now you're nobody's really prepared and the hope is gone. Nobody believes anymore. Just ask the Bengals. Because now that Joe, Joe Burrows has been sidelined for the rest of the year, everyone believes the playoff chances for the Bengals is slowly drifting away if they haven't been gone already. And we've seen when Bengals backup quarterback Jake Browning came in the game, he was unable to get anything going for, for the Bengals offense. And you can tell the difference completely when Joe Burrows was in the game from Jake Browning. It looked totally different. When Joe Burrows left the game, it just felt like an entire season was wasted. Everybody felt deflated in the, the Bengals fan base. You could just feel it in the air. And you can tell that they feel their season was open. They was just fighting and feeling like they were gaining momentum and able to make a wild card run. But then an injury recurs and the Bengals don't have a starting quarterback at the backup position. They have Jake Brown. But let's get back into it. The backup quarterback position is just as important as the starting quarterback position in the NFL. Let me say that again. The backup quarterback position is just as important as a starting quarterback position in the NFL because one play, one possession, one game can potentially cost a team its season, a chance to make the playoffs. What everybody is preparing for in the beginning of the season from mini camp to training camp, OTAs, everything, everybody is preparing to make the playoffs and make a Super Bowl run. Now, when Aaron Rodgers was drafted in the first round of the Green Bay Packers in 2005, they still had Hall of Famer Brett Favre. And Rodgers was, a, was able to sit and learn and gain valuable experience for three years under Brett Favre before becoming the official starter. So you see what that valuable experience did for him? It turned him into a Hall of Famer. Teams can't be scared to draft a potential first round pick if they have a franchise quarterback already in place because this turned out to be a great idea for the Green Bay Packers. They didn't miss a beat. Teams can't be scared, like I said, to draft top quarterback prospects if they already have franchise or franchise quarterback in place. You got to prepare for the future. This is the new NFL. Now, what if the San Francisco 49ers never traded for Steve Young in 1987? Who replaced Joe Montana in 1980, 1991 and went on to win three Super Bowls. What if that never happened? And the New York Jets had the perfect scenario with Hall of Famer quarterback Aaron Rodgers and a top five draft pick in Zach Wilson. But Zach already showed you his true colors and who he is. He showed you who, exactly who he is. He showed you he is not willing to take accountability for scoring only three points in an NFL game. He won't take accountability. So he showed you who he is. Now, on the other hand, if you go out there and you're acquiring two quarterbacks and you want to make this Super Bowl run and you land two bad quarterbacks, that's just bad luck or poor evaluation. So I don't know what to tell you about that. So if you if the team goes out there and acquires two quarterbacks that are considered starters and they don't turn out that way. Hey, man, that's just the luck of the draw. That's just some bad luck. But for GMs and head coaches, they now need to prior prioritize the backup quarterback position in the NFL in the offseason and secure one, especially if the team has high hopes of making it to the playoffs or deep into the playoffs or the Super Bowl. 
whatever your aspirations are, you need to prepare for it because, like I said, these kids are getting bigger and stronger than ever, and injuries are part in the game. Now, when Aaron Rodgers went down this year, it really took the breath out of everyone. Everyone was expecting to see Aaron Rodgers, and even if he wasn't a fan, you was expecting him to go out there, and you was expecting to see greatness. A special team take the field in 2023, and we couldn't see that because of injuries, the thing that's a part of the game. But when Rodgers went down, I know my heart dropped, and I know everybody else's heart had to drop. It kind of felt like that fight between Errol Spence Jr. versus Terrence Car Bud Crawford. Everyone was devastated because we were just hoping to experience a great fight, just be in the, in the same vicinity as greatness. You understand what I'm saying? And that's how it felt when Aaron Rodgers went down. But the game is definitely changing. And the NFL is doing its best to protect quarterbacks from injuries with these new ridiculous rules. But players are bigger, faster, and stronger than ever. So prevent injuries will always be a task and a problem that will be unsolvable because that's just a part of the, the, the nature of the beast. You know, physical big men tackling, running at each other with metal gear on is going to always cause injury. But like we said, we're talking about injury, and unfortunately injuries are part of the game and a constant in the NFL because of its violent nature. But teams need to try to prepare and prepare properly now that we've seen tons and many quarterbacks going down that are starters on the NFL team and had high expectations for that team. And now those expectations are just gone. So prepare for the future. Don't be scared to pull that trigger and make a starting quarterback a backup quarterback and spending a little extra money, whether it's $10 million a year, $15 million a year, spend that extra money and take it from another position and I promise you, your team and your season will have a better season. All right, that's Mr. Pick 6. Say what needs to be said. I'm out.